So do you have a hankering or a craving for a delicious cookie or perhaps just want to support a local manufacturer? Well, we want to introduce you to Monica. Hi, Monica. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you for being here. It's our pleasure to be here. We are at Monica's Gourmet Cookies in Grand Rapids, and I tell you what, boy, delicious. I've seen you everywhere, from the grocery stores to an event that I was at at the Amway. You're making the rounds. Lots of growth in your company. Lots of growth, and not just here in Michigan. We are shipping to every state, practically. We're supplying stores in Chicago, the Hiltons in Memphis, and in Atlanta, um, Indiana. So we're really kind of like growing in ways we didn't think we would be growing. Okay, and so, and you started as a caterer. As a caterer. As a caterer. <laughs> yeah. And then what happened? Someone said you need to have a dessert, a cookie or a brownie, so I'm partial to cookies and we started making cookies and then they just sort of wanted to take over the menu and that's when I realized there might be something here and uh, came up with some recipes um, and then we started practicing with them and then the next thing you know, well here we are. Okay, and one of the keys about the cookies is that that came about when you were, you were on bed rest. I was on bed rest and can't get up. I was like told to just lay there and so you know I'm hungry. I'm pregnant. <laughs> and that's, you know, so I came up with all these different thoughts about what I would do when I got up. And uh, so I started practicing and the cookies have come about since then and then customers are like, you know what you should make, you should make, blah, blah, blah. And now we have 30 varieties because somebody suggested a flavoring. So tell me, what is the secret? Because, I mean, it's something everyone just can't like recreate. No, um, I have a love of a soft cookie. My brothers always wanted the crunchy ones and I didn't get those, so no, I have a soft cookie and that's the shtick, that is my thing. I want all of them to be soft, done, um, like cookie dough. Everybody says they taste like a cookie dough, so that's something that we just keep doing. Right now, you are even being pursued by some big national vendors. Shh, we won't tell anybody, but. Not now, but yeah, yes, we are. And that's exciting news also that's uh, not just just down the road. So, so tell me a little bit more about how this impacts your family. Family working here, I mean, you're local, you're from <laughs> South Haven. Some South Haven, yeah. So I feel like I'm local. We've been here in Grand Rapids for 20 years. Um, I started it really here, the, the whole cookie thing. Um, I do, I have a daughter that has worked with me since middle school, and she is now right here doing, you know, everything that I'm trying to teach her of the business. Um, my husband also, he puts in 15, 20 hours just contacting people and, and talking out there and setting up some new stores, loves to interact with everybody. Um, my brother-in-law is here, Mr. Mixmaster, that's what we call him back there. And so it's just one of those growing things. One of my daughters lives in San Francisco, does a lot of the social media type of things and guides me on what to say, how to do it, all the new things. So it kind of is a family business. And, and exciting, and what do you look for toward the future? As we go and we're moving into and continuing on with our new year, what do you think? Bigger platforms, um, another you know venue to expand our horizons on getting the cookies out there. I feel like, um, I still feel like they're just right here, but I know they're way out there, and mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep inching and inching out there and getting them further further known. Further known, well, they, they look really good. So, and, and just tell me too, the process, what we might see in the back. This is They're all handmade still. Every, all the cookies are still handmade. All the chocolate chips go into the cookies after the dough is made. They're not mixed in. That's a big difference of a lot of cookie makers. So that keeps them a little bit more mounded. And all the icings are, are put on by hand. Nothing is done with a machine except mixing it. And then they are there's the dough and everybody goes to it. So it's quite a lengthy process every day. A lengthy process, but that homemade and homemade taste. And that's something and that, it again, is. it's your own. It's my own and that's the way it's going to stay and that's what I love about it.